just like that one time oh, well, at dive camp. Right. Were you even there that day when I got binned? Yeah, but I... It was a long time, time ago, but I was, de I was definitely working with you at the time. I just don't, I don't know if you were there on the day. Yeah, but I think you drove back separately. Because it was when I you were... Know. It was Nice, no, because when you had that stupid bee sting, wasn't it? No, that was a different day. Oh, was that a different one? <laughs> That's a different story. <laughs> oh, right, okay, okay, okay. So we're diving at Cape Marie, and the night before, I'd been out, but I hadn't been naughty. No, like, yeah. no, I'd only, I'd literally only had a couple of drinks, because right, I knew okay. that I was, I was diving the next day. So, you know, I was very sensible. Got up, stupid o'clock, as usual, drive down to Cape and Ray, and I wasn't even, I wasn't teaching, I didn't have any students or anything that day, I was just there for shits and giggles. And I, I remember it being like one of the hottest days of the year and I was I was running around in my dry suit and I was helping like friends from other dive schools and stuff that, that were down there and um, get their students in the water and stuff. So I was like helping them, helping them. And then I got my kit on and went for the, the easiest dive I've ever done. Like just jumped in and then, you know, the like there's the wall that goes down to the plane. Aye. So I d went down there, went down the plane, was swimming around the plane, nothing crazy, nothing deep, nothing long came up the wall looking for critters on the wall, like the slowest ascent possible. <laughs> like, it was crazy. And got out fine, had me, I was having like a, a burger off the barbecue for me dinner. And then I was like, oh, I feel a bit tingly. Tingly, right? so it was just the burger? It could well have been just the burger. The good burgers then. <laughs> I was just excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I still reckon that the first symptom of being bent is denial because I was so embarrassed that I could possibly have decompressions like this. I just went, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna dive for the next one. I'm just gonna sit it out, just made up some excuse. Didn't say to anybody, didn't go on yeah. oxygen, didn't do anything. I just sat there embarrassed. Um, and anyway, just, I had like pins and needles in my fingers. That's, what, that's the symptom that I had. So I just kept quiet about it. Um, and then drove home to Newcastle Right. And I was supposed to be going to Lanzarote or somewhere the next day. I was supposed to be flying oh, the next yeah. day. But I'd like worked out my, my surface intervals and stuff, yeah. so that was going to be fine. And I was sitting in my bed when I got home and I was like, I don't know about this. Like, cause I still had fins and needles and I was like, right, okay. So I rang Dan and was asking for advice and, and whatnot. And they said, yeah, you should probably go to the chamber. So this was probably like 10 o'clock, half 10 by the time that I'd convinced myself to ring up and get some advice. So then I had to drive all the way to Hull. And I rang my mum and dad, I was like, um, I'm just on my way to home and I'm just going to go in, in the chamber. And obviously they they didn't really understand what that, so they went into full panic mode. They were like, oh my God, pull over, your dad's coming to get you. And I'm like, no, I'm fine. I'm driving myself to the chamber. I've got pins and needles a little bit. That's all it is. I'm going to be fine. So anyway, got the chamber like late and, and then went in, um, threw up in the chamber. I think I must have had like, Lush. sunstroke or something right. like I think that's what it was like severe dehydration mm. so they said instead of sending down pizza like they normally would they sent down anti-sickness medication and some water <laughs> took that came out at, in like I don't know it was like three four o'clock in the morning and I felt worse than when I went in like I was getting like random like stabby pains nice. all over so then I had to go back in I had to go back in a few times so yeah it was like a write-off for Lanzarote or wherever obviously and I was in for a couple of days, like in and out of the chamber. 